case to go through the Supreme Court, there's a three-step process. First is selecting of the cases. The most common way for a case to come to the Supreme Court is on appeal from the Federal Court of Appeals. But if a party is unhappy, I'm unhappy. With the appeal, the Supreme Court can issue a writ of cessory, which is an order seeking review of the court case. The second is briefs and oral arguments. The first step involved in the court hearing is reading briefs. These are the written arguments prepared and submitted by each side in the case. Justices can also consider amicus, friend of the court. <laughs> These are legal briefs prepared by outside parties that are interested in the case. After studying briefs, the hearing is then moved on to listening to oral arguments. Third, there are opinions. Court opinions take several forms, majority, concurring, and dissenting opinions. A majority opinion represents the court's actual ruling in the case and has to be signed by at least one, two, three, four, five of the nine members. Concurring opinions are statements by Supreme Court justices who agree, I agree, with the overall conclusion in the case. However, they stress different or additional legal reasoning. Now for the final form, dissenting opinions. Dissenting opinions are statements written by Supreme Court justices who disagree with the majority decision. These opinions do not have a direct legal impact on the case, but they can influence future judgments. But all in all, the court's full review of the case is called a plenary review.